Yes, lovely. Good day, everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please try this. A channel motivated to share knowledge, a channel that loves you. And it's me, your boy Pindeni, as we are continuing with our Amri 3D indie game development series. It's a solo game development project, and I'm the designer, I'm the developer, I'm the one who's going to do the scripting. So we are now setting up our environment for scripting in this video. So I'm going to show you my process of uh, setting up my environment for scripting in Amri 3D so that we begin the scripting. I enjoy scripting. Scripting is my strength and my favorite, favorite, favorite part of game development. So I can't wait to venture into scripting. A few pointers before I begin. Number one, uh, Amri uses a programming language called Hex. H-A-X-E And uh, in my career as a computer scientist, I've never programmed in X uh, I've programmed in Java, C, H, C++, PHP But not in Hex So this is good for me because since I've never programmed in Hex uh, I'll be willing to learn And I hope uh, if you want to learn Hex to uh, Come join me on this channel and let's learn together Number two, on this project I am not going to be using Node Scripting. Uh, to those who don't know what Node Scripting is, Amri 3D supports a certain uh, scripting using Nodes. Uh, if you don't have a programming uh, experience and uh, you just want to make a game, that's good for you. You can just put the Nodes, align the Nodes, and you make your game. Uh, so this is meant for those who don't have programming experience. Uh, for me, my programming experience is a little bit solid because I've been a software developer before. So, I'm going to be coding, actually scripting, getting my hands dirty with code. I'm not going to be using Node scripting. And the other pointer, uh, we are going to be installing a scripting software. Uh, Amri supports several scripting software. You can choose the one you like, I'm sure. Uh, most of them are supported. In my research, I found out that the best scripting software for Amri 3D is Code Studio. Code as in K-O-D-E. So I'm going to be downloading Code Studio in the first part of this video. I show you what it looks like and we set it up in our Blender. So let's get on with it. Before I begin, of course, I humbly ask you to please subscribe to my channel, like and share my videos. Let's set up our environment. For scripting so as you can see I'm on Windows and this is my desktop I'm going to launch my browser uh, which is Microsoft Edge in this case and I'm going to search for Code Studio with a K Code Studio and uh, okay uh, our results are here I'm looking for a github URL so let me scroll down Okay, I'm sure you can see this GitHub here, HTTPS, github.com, code with a K, code studio, slash releases. So I'm going to click this uh, result here, so that it takes me to GitHub. Right, uh, it has loaded, our results are here. You can see here it says code studio as I'm scrolling, uh, and there are several versions for the Linux, for the Mac OS, for the Windows. If you want the source code zip or the source code tar, you can choose whatever suits for you. Uh, Code Studio seems to have been last updated November 13, 2018, uh, which is far, far, far back. But I mean, as long as it works, we can get it. So let's download for Windows. I'm going to go here, Code Studio Windows.zip. Right, and it's downloading. As you can see on my screen here, it is now downloading. I've already downloaded Code Studio, that's why there's a one here. So I'm just going to cancel this download and let's go and see what it looks like after downloading. So I'm going to cancel this one. So we are here on the second part of this video and uh, this is what uh, the file looks like uh, in my downloads, uh, the one which I downloaded the zip file. So I had already extracted it in my documents. So if I go in my documents, you can see it here. I extracted it there. So you can go ahead and extract yours uh, wherever you are comfortable with. Now let's go in the third and final part whereby we are linking it with Blender. So I'm right here back on my desktop and now on this third and final part of this video we are now going to set up our Blender for scripting. So let's go ahead and launch Blender. I'm launching mine here. 
and yes we are here in blender you can see the cube scene the one we used in the previous videos to test if our armory was working well so what we need to do now to set up our blender for scripting we don't need to open our project file we just need to go on edit we go on preferences and what we need is we want to search our armory 3d sdk add-on so i'm going to search here armory okay there it appears here I'm sure you remember it from our previous videos. So I'm going to left click this small arrow to drop it down so that I see more options. Right, and here we are. There are many, many, many options here. Uh, the ones I'm looking for are for the coding. Where are they? Okay, let's click this checkbox here which says show advanced. Right, we are now seeing more options. And yes, there it is, code editor and it says system default so we now want to link our uh, code studio with our blender so we are going to click here left click so that we find our vs code studio which we extracted and uh, you can see the sublime text so whatever scripting software you are comfortable with you can use it with amri 3d you just need to set it up well i'm sure so I'm going to choose Code Studio or VS Code here. Now there is where it says Code Editor Executable. We now need to link the executable file with our Blender. So what we are going to do here is I'm going to left click this folder icon, navigate to my documents where I extracted that Code Studio uh, zip file, and here it is Code Studio Windows. I'm going to left click. And I'm going to search for the Code Studio executable file. Oh, there it is here. Code Studio.exe. It's an executable file for Code Studio. So I'm going to left click it and I'm going to accept. So here the path has been set. Uh, we are now ready for scripting. So I'm going to close these uh, preferences, Blender preferences. And now we need to test if everything is working well. What's a better scene to test with except the cube scene? Let's use the cube scene to test if everything is working well. So what I'm going to do is left click the cube to select it. And uh, before I have to save this project. So let's save it. File. Save. I'm going to delete later. So I'm going to save it in my pictures. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to save it as testing dot blend okay so we save this blender file because amri 3d does not compile our uh, projects which are not saved we have saved our blend file now let's test if everything is working well so i'm going to left click this cube i'm going to go here on our object i'm going to scroll down until i find where it says amri traits i'm going to add a new trait and it's a hex trait, which is the programming language that Amri uses. And then I'm going to say OK. So, by the way, if you are going to be using Node, you can go here where it says Nodes. If you want to use Node scripting, I'm going to go right deep, getting my hands dirty with some hex code. So let's say OK. So a new script here. And then I need to say new script and give this trait a name. So I'm going to name it testing. And then I'm going to left click OK. Now, if I uh, left click edit script here, it must launch my scripting software. So let's go ahead and test edit script. Woo! And you can see now my code studio has launched. We have successfully linked our Blender or our Amri 3D with our scripting software, which is code studio in this case. So this is the testing hex here, and this is the code which we are going to be working with. Uh, as you can see, class testing extends ion dot trait. Mm -hmm. Lovely, lovely. I love scripting and I can't wait to script. So uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. And please remember to subscribe if you are new, like and share my videos. Let's make a game.